All right, go. You might want to come a bit closer. That's good. Are we already recording? Yeah. <laughs> ah! I had to edit that out. <laughs> hey, everybody, I need to fire my new cameraman, Josh, here. <laughs> I might just leave that in. Anyway, this is a uh, quick update to the uh, redneck wind turbine. You see that I made this nifty little bracket so I can get this all up uh, horizontal instead of vertical like I had it in the last video. And then eventually I'm going to have some magnets around the outer uh, barrel there and some uh, coils on the side there for generating electricity. So meanwhile I got it all stabilized with some of these uh, cables here and some rebar down in there. And notice, notice I put these uh, little solar lighting systems down here so that I don't and my family don't trip over them in the middle of the night and all that kind of jazz. But uh, you can see the wind ain't very strong out here today, but it's still, uh, hey, there's a buzzard. Get him on film. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to get me. Uh-oh. Anyway, uh, you can see it's spinning. It's not having to work very hard so far, and uh, we'll see how she holds up in the storms and all that kind of jazz. But uh, stay tuned, everybody, and uh, I'll keep you updated with when I get a generating system on there. Peace and love. One little quick short addendum there. I was uh, kind of proud of my little redneck wind turbine made out of a 50 gallon barrel, some bicycle rims, some old junky bed frames, and whatever I could get. <clears throat> Essentially, this entire project, with exception of the uh, wiring system that I used to uh, basically bolt it down to the ground, I got the rebar for free. It was in the dump. But uh, <clears throat> essentially, everything's all recycled uh, materials. Once again, peace and love everybody. Stay tuned. Got some really good projects on the way. Peace and love.